Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be changing the oil and filter in this 2 litre Duratalk DI Mark III Mondeo 2001 to 2007. Right, okay then, so we're going to do the oil and filter in this Mondeo. It's uh, the Duratalk diesel engine version and the engine's actually the same as like in the transit van as well so if you've got a transit van it's exactly the same thing now what we're looking for is six liters of 5w30 grade oil which i've actually got here and also the filter which comes in a a cartridge type i'll just show you this again this is a pattern filter it's not a ford filter but as you can see there it's a general cartridge which clips in with these little clips into the holder and there's also a new oil seal to go around the top of the cartridge holder as well now the cartridge holder located underneath probably mid-engine at the front just behind the radiator and that does require it's a plastic bodied uh, affair and that requires a 36 mil socket to actually undo well i haven't got a 36 mil socket so what i'm going to be using hopefully are these uh, side wrenches which are quite deep along the blade there and i'm hoping to be able to kick the uh the cartridge open that way so that's what i've got there i think it's supposed to have an engine shield underneath on the base of the car here but this isn't installed on this one so there's no ending shield first of all i'm just going to jack the car up in the air after i've warmed it up for about five or ten minutes so i'm going to do that first right okay then here we are i've got the car jacked up just slide a bowl under there first of all <coughs> get it ready right so i've got a 13 mil spanner here which is a lovely snug fit and let's undo this Oh, that's a tight little thing. There we go. There we go. Right, we'll let that run out then. And I've got to be careful that the wind don't catch it when it's a thin stream because uh, the wind's very powerful out here at the moment. So, a little lesson there. Do it when it's uh, not very windy. So, while we're letting that just drain out, I'm going to look at this... Um, 36 mil socket here which as I said I haven't I haven't actually got one so um, I'm going to try and have to undo this with the next best thing so I've got this deep adjustable spanner which I can get a good purchase on there as you can probably see and then a lever I've got an extension lever to stick on the end and I'm just going to hoping that that's going to give me the enough well, I can get an un a turn on it, so let's just like slide slide that over there like that. And if not, we'll have to try something else. I just say so. Bear with me. Let's move you around here a bit, actually. There you go. You might be able to see a bit better there. As I say, it's got to be a good fit on there. Otherwise, you're just going to be sliding off. I don't seem to be able to get a good enough purchase. So what I'm going to have to resort to, by the looks of it, is the old fashioned chain wrench on the edge there. So I'm just gonna put this in position. There we go. All right, and then hopefully. Uh, there we go, fix is coming. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. That went. Uh. Right, hopefully now I should be able to undo it with these now, because that did go. There we go, yep. So as I say, ideally, you want a 36 mil socket. But failing that, the old chain wrench around the edge does the job. Right, okay then. So I've got the sump plug, plug back in. And now I'm just gonna continue undoing this cartridge holder. As you see, I cracked it earlier a second ago. And I don't know if there's any oil gonna come out of here, so you'll know with me. I've got the bowl here just in case. But obviously I wanna be careful. Let's put it right underneath. 
I don't want to get it all, all over my arm. I'm trying to get it so you can see as well, so forgive me if I'm in your way. I don't want to get it running up my arm. This is going to be full of oil, I would imagine. There we go. There we go. Oh. I've actually got a few splashes on my face as well, but you won't be able to see that. As you can see, it's absolutely filthy. Really black, this oil. And uh, move that to one side. And I'll just empty out this cartridge into our bucket. And this is a job that really did need changing. So that's that. Let's wipe my hand now. Should have gloves on, really. So, little tip there for you. Wear yourself some gloves. Because old engine oil is not really good for your hands. So, get it off as quick as possible. That's what I've done there. And that gives me a little bit of space just to dry off. Just around the... Uh, cartridge housing so that I can uh, make sure it's nice and clean before we put the new rubber seal back in so that'll do for the moment okay and as you can see there's the old one there so I'm just gonna pull it out of there it only sort of clips in as you can see put that to one side just empty that out again in that bucket with the remaining oil Clean out the rest of the filter housing. Pretty much okay in there. Right, now I'm of the opinion that that seal is here. Right around here, and it, this one looks pretty worn. So I'm going to prise that out, and we'll put the new rubber ring on. There we go, it's just got underneath that. Just pull that old seal off. Let's finally give it a clean around the edge where the ring sits in a little bit tricky but persevere with it just get it in the groove there we go and I will moisten that with some oil just before we actually finally tighten that up and get the new con uh, cartridge filter and that should hopefully just click into place and what I will do is just to put a drop of oil in here, fresh engine oil, before we finally zip it up. So, so I'll just hold that there like that and just put some fresh engine oil just down into the centre of it. There we go. It just means it ain't totally dry when the engine starts up and it helps with the suction. So that's that. I'll just dip my finger in there as well and just run it around that oil sill as well. There we go. Right, so let's put this back under the car now and let's get this put back in. Right, okay then, so we just push that out of the way. The old oil container. Now don't forget, we've got some oil in here, so when getting it in position, just make sure that you, you don't tip it up. So let's just turn that back into place. And when it starts to tighten, you know you're on that oil seal. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a turn around with this. Right, I'm going to get the chain back on there again now. There we go. There we go. Nice and tight. Oh, there we go. That's the oil filter in. Nice and tight. The sump plug back in. That's a 13 mil. So now it's time to top up with oil. Put the car back on the floor again so we've got a nice level plan field for us to measure the dipstick and tidy up this little bit of mess. Right, okay then, so let's put our six litres into our engine. Right, let's put that over there for now. And I've got a funnel just to make life easier. So I know that this takes, this is a four and a half litre container of 5W30 so I know that I can pour all of this in with no worry of overfilling it. So just take your time. 
Right, okay, that's the four and a half litre container in. And while I'm here, I will check the uh, engine oil dipstick as well. It's probably, it's just on the uh, minimum, just above the minimum line now, I don't know if you can see that. So it's gonna take another couple of litres by the looks of it, so I'm happy with that. We'll carry on, we'll give that a go. And don't forget, I've got to start the engine up as well and get more of it going through that um, oil filter and that will drop the level as well. So I'm just gonna leave it there for a second. Right, okay, that uh, sounded a little bit quieter actually. So just let it settle for a second and we'll do the dipstick again. Give it a good dry off. And as I say, I'm expecting it to actually drop down a little bit now, so make sure you get it nice and clean, the dipstick. And basically, yeah, it's dropped right down to the minimum mark again, so we're going to need more oil in there. Perfect, right on the top line. There we go, I'm happy with that. Anyway, don't forget also to check underneath the, uh, your canister to make sure it's not leaking, and also check your sump nut as well, and make sure that's not leaking before you start using your car. So there we go, hope that was of some use to you. Uh, bearing in mind, we didn't have a 36 mil socket. Life would have been a lot easier if we would have had one of them, but we got over it another way using a normal chain oil filter removal tool, just around the edge of the, the cartridge, just to loosen it. And then we used an, a, a very large adjustable spanner just to undo it once the nut was nice and loose. So anyway, that's how we got over the problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much, see you again in the next video. Till then, bye for now.